Who can mix up the tastiest juice blend? Let's find out. Hoodle and I will be your hosts. First, a special thanks to Bogdell for providing our lovely venue here at Faria Ranch. Now then, let's kick things off. So Renwell and Hoodle are emceeing this time. Xion, could you please say a few words as our judge? Of course. I can tell everyone has put their best effort into today's competition, and I'm eager to sample the fruits of that labor. Sounds like Xion's taste buds are ready. So, without further ado, let's bring out our first contestant. It's... That's right. I'm the first challenger. Star player Kisara is first up to bat. Has this competition been won before it's even started? My recipe may seem unsophisticated at first, but I think you'll find it to be perfect for this competition. Here is my entry. Whoa! Just check out that presentation. Let's hope it tastes as good as it looks. I put a lot of care into the quality and flavor, not just the appearance. I used the finest milk, as well as fresh strawberries picked this morning. Overall, my strawberry milk blend achieves an elegant yet subtle sweetness that I think will pair perfectly with pancakes. Just the sort of recipe I would expect from you, Kisara. I knew I could count on you to put your best foot forward when it comes to cuisine. Well, I also kept in mind that the recipe we created not only had to be worthy of bearing Dohalim's name, but also had to work as a sellable product. With that in mind, I tried to replicate his elegance and refinement in both the presentation and flavor of my entry. Even her description is flawless. She's thought of everything. That's an approach to the assignment only you would think of, Kisara. Let's give it a taste. Hmm, it certainly is delicious. And I'm sure it will pair well with pancakes, too. Is this it? Has Kisara already claimed the title? However, it feels a little too conventional. I don't imagine it would make any notable waves if it was released as a new product. Wh what It's a solid entry, but I think the juice we release has to surprise the drinker. It should give them something unexpected. For example, you could try dumping more sugar in it to sweeten it up. I... it's true. I may have avoided taking risks in the pursuit of a smooth, easily accessible drink. But if the juice is too sweet, it won't go well with the pancakes, and adding that much sugar would definitely make the juice unhealthy. I think you did a great job, Kisara. <laughs> Alfin, I don't need your consolation. I created this recipe, and I will destroy it with my own hands. Wow, she is not taking this well. Has fan favor Kisara been knocked out of the competition? What will happen next? You want a juice that will surprise the drinker, you say? If so, then it would appear victory is mine. A bold statement. It sounds like you're confident in your entry, Dohalim. Extremely. All my work has been for this. Behold, my masterpiece! Uh, it's awfully... viscous. You mustn't judge on looks alone. I ask that you refrain from commenting until you've tasted it. Fair enough. Well, here goes. Th this is... It's amazing! The taste is rough yet elegant, utterly overtaking your mouth! What? No way! It tastes good? What's in it anyway? High-grade horse meat, sprinkled with pepper and grilled, then flavored with tomato and juiced. Not only will a glass of this juice sate your hunger, but if served with pancakes, it will be the main course. So the pancakes would be like a dessert then? I agree. This certainly meets the requirements of the assignment. Not only does this juice deliver an actual surprise, but it's also truly satisfying to imbibe. Indeed. Actually, I would say this recipe's only flaw is it tastes even better before it's juiced. Disqualified! <clears throat> Eliminated yet again. In a way, it's impressive you can make something like this every time. A disqualification is a disqualification. I will keep this recipe to myself so that it never again sees the light of day. 
Oh man, I'm last. Kisara's tried and true entry is out, and Dohalim's crazy concoction has been disqualified. Now I'm next on the chopping block. Oh, what am I gonna do? La! Come on, hurry up! You're the last contestant, so get out here already! Coming, Rinwell! Uh, damn it! Think, Law, think! Oh, use your head! Wait, my head! That's it! If this juice is gonna reflect the real me, I gotta go all in! Time to go big or go home! Uh -huh. <sighs> Sorry for the wait. Here is my entry! Hmm... It doesn't look particularly unique. Still, let's give it a taste. This texture is amazing. It has the perfect amount of pulp. It feels less like juice and more like I'm drinking an actual fruit. The aftertaste is cool and refreshing, yet it's substantial enough for a single glass to leave you feeling satisfied. This juice will not only fill the stomach, but also go perfectly with pancakes. It's exactly what I was hoping for. Wait, so then? Yes, La is the winner. Haha, <laughs> really? You're serious? Hell yeah! But La, how did you make this? Did you grate an apple into a cloth and wring the juice out through it? Nah, that's way too much hassle. The only tools I needed were these finely tuned muscles. Listen up. First, I split the fruit open with a headbutt. Then, I squeeze the juice out with my bare hands. And voila! Its appearance is understated, but it was made through a crazy process. Suits Dohalim perfectly, don't you think? So, is that what you think of me? Putting aside the juicing method, I guess this means we have a recipe we can turn in. Hold on. No one could reproduce that juicing process except Law. Does that mean we have to turn him in, too? Huh? Come on, no need to go that far. No, she's right. Sorry, Law, but this is goodbye. Take your recipe and head back to Vicente alone. Law, thank you. For everything. I promise I'll never forget you. Take care of yourself, Law. Just know I'll be wishing the best for you in your new life. You're... <laughs> you're joking, right? <laughs> hey, wait! Don't make me go! 